Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be swatching so many lipsticks and I hope I can do this all in one setting. I have about an hour right now to film. I think I might have to come back to this, but we're gonna get it all in and I'm so excited to show you the box that I received from CoverGirl. Now, first, if you don't know, Sunday is National Lipstick Day, so there's a lot of like deals and promotions going on, but I just thought it would be fun to show you guys these lipsticks in case you wanna go pick up a few shades. But first, let's take a look at this box. So it is so freaking cute. The inside lid, and you have some information here. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipstick Collection. It has 48 shades, and it says to clap back at any shade you have ever been thrown for your lipstick choice. There are cream, metallic, and demi-matte finishes. They also included eight of their exhibitionist lip liners as well, which I will swatch for you. And they're the perfect partner in crime to keep it exactly where you want it. You can hashtag CoverGirl made and kind of show off your lip looks for National Lipstick Day. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So this is what the actual lipsticks look like. How adorable is this? I'm so in love. So you get so many options. First, let's go ahead and swatch the lip liners for you. So the lip liners are really interesting. I swatched in the nude. This is what it looks like. It's like a little slanted tip. I kind of dig that. This one is caramel nude. This is paradise pink. Got rosewood. These are all really pretty wearable shades. I'm really impressed. That's cherry red. Definitely a vibrant, vibrant red. The next one is called Garnet Red. It's like a deeper berry red. Ooh, I love this one and I love the name. This is Marvelous. Marvelous. Okay, Marvelous. This one is Plum Partner. So there are eight shades of Exhibitionist lip liners. Okay, let's get swatching. I'm going to start with all of the cream shades and we'll see how far we can get.
right guys that was every single cream shade my lips are taking a beating and as you can see they're getting really stained and I'm trying to conceal so that it doesn't mix the color or kind of change it but at this point it's really time to take a break and it's also time for me to head out now I'm gonna try out one of the lip liners so I definitely want to use marvelous I'm really intrigued so I want to try out this applicator because it's got that weird slant to it but hopefully it's gonna be good actually really like the tip of this applicator being slanted like this it's just really nice to smooth out the edges of the lips I feel like this tip is really nice that slant is really coming in handy it's working out really nicely I think I'm gonna put on romance mauve I'll be back in just a moment to swatch the metallic shades for you. Alright guys, I am back. <laughs> I have had this makeup on for about 12 hours. And I did just touch up a little bit, especially in this area where I was continuing to apply and then take off and reapply. So my lips look a little bit bare, but I tried to touch up so I didn't look so horrible. I'm having a little strawberry Zevia. Highly recommend if you haven't tried it. Now it's time to jump into some metallics. Now it is to dive into the last nine shades, which are the Demi Matte Formula. So let's get going. single shade of the new CoverGirl Exhibitionist lip and I have to say I'm pretty impressed there were in each kind of finish whether it be the creams the metallics or the demi mattes there were a few one-offs like I just don't know in the metallic or the matte about these like whitish shades I don't know that I would ever personally put that on um they might be fun to use to do like ombre which I said with the uh Katie Cat lip gloss swatch video if you want to see that one I'll put it right up here for you guys I definitely found a ton of lip colors that I know I'll be reaching for and even some of these like weirder shades like this one and the bestie boo I'm always surprised how I don't hate them on like you think about wearing a blue lip and for most people it's like why or just no but when I put them on I don't mind them like right now 
I don't think this looks that bad. Granted, my lips are probably swollen and definitely are stained a nice hot pink, but I think they're really nice and I know they're going to be a great price point. The lip liner I put on early in the video, I really like. I did wear a cream finish lipstick, so it did wear off after a few hours, but the lip liner stayed in place and I was able to just pop something right on top of it and it wore really, really well. I'm impressed. I have to say that I'm really happy to have received it, but I more so wanted to do this for you guys so that you could see what all the shades are and you can pick out what your favorite it's going to be if you want to go to Walmart or the drugstore and pick some of these up because I know they're going to be a great deal. Between these and the foundation and the new glosses, I'm really finding a lot of things that I will truly use on a daily basis. But I'm finding that I really need to be paying more attention to these drugstore brands. I just wanted to show you guys all these lip colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to leave me a thumbs up if you did and if you enjoy videos like this, whether it be drugstore or lip swatch videos. And if you have things that you wanna see that I haven't done yet, then drop that in the comments below. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. And please tell me out of everything, do you have a favorite? Are there any that you're like, oh my God, no, not buying that. I'm really curious to see if you guys could pick out any like real favorites out of the bunch. But either way, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.